Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. This is the back of a boiler that can go up to a, about 2,700 kilowatts. The burner can go over that, but it's ranged to below. This is in, looking inside. This one's been isolated for the time being. Burner's at the other end. And this is the gas booster serving that unit. Just inspecting it. This is the belt. This is it whilst it's off. Checking the tension. And this is a look at the boiler from the front. And this is another unit isolated. So this is what the burner can do up to. 2,000, 3,000 kilowatts. And this is the unit before it starts up. Let's check the latest fault. There they are. Okay, so the unit's coming on now. Valve 1 is proven. You can see the damper is closed. Should I say the servo motor? zero degrees vps void to gas vps valves closed 108 celsius recorded valve two proven zero air sensor run to purge uh, watch it's opening and it is 30 degrees 40 degrees run to purge it's going to go to about 90 degrees. The air inlet. And that's the countdown. Let's speed it up a bit. Okay, run to ignition. Okay, what's the gas valve opening up? And the air inlet is down. It's going down, you can see it closing. Pre-ignition, so less air is going in. You can see the gas supply going in, the pilot. Main valve is proving, it's starting up now. Modulating, 14% gas, 20% gas, 30 degrees, and you can see the gas going in and the air going in, you see the degrees of it opening? They are virtually the same. Firing rate 46%. And this is the unit, and that's the gas pressure. And this is inside. So air inlet and this is another view of the gas valve you can see they have a lovely indicators and there's the fan spinning there's the air pressure switch set to four millibar and valve one is at 30 millibar valve two is at 30 millibar it's a uv auto flame sensor and then this is the pressure when it's operating and this is our temperature again Little connecting tube goes through there and then comes through the other side. Made in 1980 and it can handle up to 2700 kilowatts. This is one of its gaskets. This is the back of the boiler. This is above the boiler. Mm. PRV set to about six bar. Some valves. There's our flue. So now I'm checking the air whilst the unit is on. This is the millibar pressure we have on our air test point. On another boiler now, just gas rating on another boiler. Checking the unit when it is off. And I'm just checking the settings it's been set up to. And it's on um, zero. You can see here zero degrees. And this is what the cam has been set up to. 10 degrees on low fire, naught on closed, and almost 39 degrees on high fire. And the low pressure switch is set to 10 millibars. Boiler is rated 468 kilowatts, so the burner shouldn't really be doing more than that. When I gas rated it though, it was doing more. So I will mention to the powers that be who have set up this boiler that it is burning too much. So the unit is coming on now. And motor just kicked in. Okay, checking our combustion head pressure. It 
things all over the shop. So we're at 30 degrees. Has it lit yet? Has dropped, it's about to light. So it's gone back down to 10 degrees. You can see the pressure there dropping, chamber pressure. And it has lit. It's on low fire at the moment. As you can see 10 degrees open. It won't stay low fire for long. It's moving round to high fire now. And you can see the chamber pressure going up. Thirty degrees or about twenty nine degrees. And here I am gas rating it. I'm checking the pressure from a different point on the gas valve and comparing. So here's my test point, just looking in the manual for these. I was waiting to go across the Woolwich Ferry Crossing. Have you gone over? It's been a while since I've gone over. I didn't want to chance it. It wasn't too bad. I got there in good time. You know what it's like with this ferry crossing. Have you been on it? It's going to take quite a while. It's either you go through the Blackpool Tunnel, or you could do Tower Bridge, you could also go down further, and my turn. There was about four lines, four rows, um, and then you could get about 10 cars, small cars in each one, and they were trying to squish the vehicles up further. You can see they're getting everyone to go forward a bit so everyone can get on. Safety signs. I wanted to get out of the vehicle, but thought I'd stay put this time. Uh, finally moving. Only takes a few minutes. They should put a few more ferries. I think they should have a, like three, four of them going back and forth. But I guess there's only so many they can fit there. Okay. They let off the other vehicles first. Then I had to carry out some tap flushing. Nice and boring. But sometimes it's good to do something different. And I was trying to fix a water hose. But obviously this isn't metal pipe or even hard plastic. So... checking the hose because it was just I got saturated up uh, it was completely open before but now it seems to be holding up a bit let's put that on there hopefully they'll replace it but that's what it was like before <laughs> yeah, it's, it's got me I'm doing tap flushing check out the requirements here these particular checks want uh, water under 20 celsius within two minutes and the hot water sentinels, they want those at above 50 Celsius. That's within one minute. This was a little temporary repair I did with some epoxy. There was a leak. There was a puddle on the floor. I didn't have any 32 mil pipe on me, so I just had a bit of paste. I pull it on there. This was get, kind of gaping open, but fortunately it held up. I went back a week later and it was not leaking. And I was doing domestic service. I probably do about one domestic service a year. So I was just checking the carbon monoxide alarm and doing my tightness test and my gas rate, uh, checking my working pressure and looking inside the unit. I had a job where a electric heater wasn't working and here I am checking it. One of them was working and the other unit wasn't working. So it looked as though the room, the room thermostat was the issue. So I checked the terminals and booked up a new one. At this site, I have to check the generator every week to make sure it's working. Because some buildings just have to always have a backup of power. I'm of the UK. Uh, this unit is operating well. The uh, generator is fine. Checking more belts at another place. There we go. Have a look at the belts. Are they okay? Yes, they are. 
another big boiler at another site. Get this bad boy. Pretty old, I think. Another one which was about my age. And an oil on burner. Gas booster. Check out this unit. There's some booster sets here, so we've got a cold water storage cylinder. Or cold water, cold water storage tank, should I say. And then um, it comes around here, then we've got some gas boosters, and we've got a massive cylinder. Or should I say, we've got a massive um, expansion vessel, and this is the differentials. This is that boiler again, the back of the boiler I was just showing you. A look inside. Is there a look inside the unit? And then these are the tubes that need replacing. And they look from another, another angle. Nice when you can climb in a boiler. Found this air inlet on a room sealed boiler, gas fired unit with a hole in it. Had to be shut off. And another hole. Doing some fire alarm testing or oh, all sorts of random stuff. And this is a unit I got going. And the pressure was about 9 millibar. 9 millibar there. Managed to get this boiler burning sweetly, but unfortunately, it was over firing. So I shut it off, it was burning too many kilowatts. Okay, thank you for joining me. Until next time, bye bye bye.